right, folks. So like I said, we have the team from the Pro Traders Fund in the building. With us is Mr. Chavez Allen, Mr. Abraham Gardner, and of course, Mr. David Nunez. These persons are coming to us to speak to us a little bit about their company and, you know, also going to speak to us a little bit about, you know, how to let persons listening earn more money as well as, you know, be happy about what they're doing. All right. So, hello, uh, Mr. Allen. How are you doing? I'm doing amazing. I'm doing amazing. We had, you know, one of the biggest events yesterday on the island. You know, um, <laughs> we're just recovering. The event was from about 5 to 8. But based on how, you know, the vibes was, based on how everybody was just asking questions and, and wanting to learn more from our amazing panelists, you know, the, the event went up until 11 o'clock, right? <laughs> so it's, it's, it's just amazing. You know, we have a lot to share, um, a lot to review, and um, we're here to answer a lot of you guys' questions as well. David is here with us. Um, Abraham is here with us as well. And we're just going to dive into it. So thanks for having us today. Thank you for coming. And, you know, I can attest to the fact that the event was great, uh, you know, as the team asked me to host it. And it was, trust me, it was a wonderful event as a investor, as an entrepreneur, as, you know, someone with a small business. This is a conversation that you definitely need to be listening to. What up your ears wide and so, yeah. Uh, now, tell me a little bit about your, your event. You know, for persons who did not get the memo, they didn't know about the Global Traders Connect event that was uh, yesterday, that was held yesterday at the AC Marriott Hotel. Tell me a little bit about it. You know, how did, how did that go? Summarize your overall experience. So, from the perspective of, of an attendee, you would have came, you would have gotten um, some knowledge from industry leaders. So, we had persons from trading persons from business for example we have Trudine Ramsey who's a business consultant and it was just so amazing because everyone got their questions answered they got to ask what they needed to know and we also shared a lot of information and you know a big thing that happened we gave away three all expense paid all expense paid vacations um, to some of our community members for those who aren't aware what the Pro Traders Fund is is a prop firm what that means is that we are a performance evaluation and funding company. So we give persons capital to trade with. So if it is that uh, you're in the, the industry, you're an entrepreneur and you want to scale your income, but you don't have access to that much money. Like you have $10,000, but you know that you want to make millions. You have big dreams, but you're not going to get that much return on small money. We allow you to manage our funds for us. But first you have to pass the evaluation. No, we have the easiest evaluation in the industry and we saw persons got to see it firsthand how so many lives have been changed. Everyone shared their stories. I mean, it almost brings me to tears as a big man, you know, because you see so many persons that tell you that them don't come from much and to see them making like millions of dollars in just a short few short months. The winners of the all expense paid vacation, they started working with us as our fund managers just from December and you have them earning one million dollars a month to me like we have a guy mm -hmm. we have a guy um, you know he received over three million um, Jamaican dollars in, in payouts and um, usually you know as a for example a college student or just a you know a working class person this is something that you'd, you'd basically aspire to make in a year right and these guys are are making this in um, on a month to month basis just by uh, maximizing their 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 skills, you know. So, and I must say, I must say, you know, listening to to you guys, the, the amount that you're speaking about seems so abstract. It seems like, oh, you know, me can't possibly think about three million dollars in my bank account. You know what I mean? And so, for persons listening. What would you say to them in terms of, you know, how they can get connected with uh, Pro Traders Fund and how to, you know, start doing this trading and, and making all of this money? Okay, so our website is www.protradersfund.com, right? That's www.protradersfund.com. On social media, it's Pro Traders Fund um, on every platform, right? There's a lot of knowledge out there on trading, you know, on investing, right? You can go on YouTube, you can search on um, the web, Google, 
Instagram, there's a lot of people that actually um, offer different services to teach you. You know, we offer services that we teach as well. I started off as a mentor um, to a lot of people that wanted to actually learn. I've been doing this for over a decade, right? And now, you know, I've started to fund, you know, the people that I actually believe in, which are people that I've taught and people that have some type of knowledge, right? You know, the opportunity is there for everyone, as long as you're able to um, just pass our evaluation, um, you know, on our, on our different um, accounts that will provide to you. And once you pass the evaluation, you have the opportunity of being hired as a private independent contractor to manage our company's funds. Okay, okay. So we're going back up a little bit. We're going back up before we reach to that point. For persons listening, they don't know what is this trading business. It's all sound like scamming to them. So what, <laughs> what, what would you say to them? What is trading? What is this this company really all about? What is trading? So day trading, right? I know a lot of you guys are into watching movies or series or, you know, those little things that you've been binge watch. And it's a situation where back in the 90s, you know, for example, the, the so far you're gone back, sir. I, <laughs> but, I, back I, in the, I wanted the, the short answer. I'm giving, you a, very short short, answer. I'm giving a very short answer. Please, I'm begging you. A, a very short and direct answer. Okay. Back in the 90s, um, you used to have different um, floors on Wall Street where you go, you place um, you know, a, a, a prediction that, hey, the, the, the price of corn is going to go up or the price of corn is going to go down, the price of wheat is going to go up or down. Similar to the Jamaican exchange rate to the US dollars, they expect that the, the, the dollar is going to go up to 150, right. 155. And if you can predict where it's going to go and you actually predict accurate, accurately, you make money. You know, okay. If you don't predict... So if that, me said tomorrow, right, the Jamaican dollar is going to go up, and mm-hmm. then it actually go up. You can make money. I can make money off that. Yes. Okay. And that is essentially trading. what trading is. Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. And then, so so like how you say, back in the days, it was corn. And so today, it's the dollar. It's and the what, dollar. And uh, what? Cryptocurrency or so? Yeah, you have different, you have a lot of different forms of trading. You know, you have, um, you know, metals, you have um, cryptocurrency, you have... Um, foreign exchange which people use money every day so you can trade US dollar against um, Canadian dollar US dollar against pound Jamaican dollar against the pound and, and stuff like that so if, if you send money overseas or receive money from overseas you're doing some type of trading if you go to a Cambio to do an exchange of um, money you're doing some type of trading if somebody say hey I'm traveling and I need some US to buy you're doing some type of trading but you don't realize you know and we're here to teach how to actually maximize that and we're able to fund you to be able to maximize that that's that's a very important point there. A lot of people want to make money, want to do certain things. They have the desire, but they don't have the money to back it. And you're saying that you're a company that gives persons the money, no strings attached? So we believe that the, the highest level of authenticity is putting ourselves at risk, right? In terms of us, you know, just taking on all the risk um, from everybody that wants to actually you know, um, manage our funds. So we take on the risk. We maintain custody of the funds. We give people access to it based on their performance. So it's strictly performance based. So once they perform, they're good. Um, if they don't perform well, okay, we 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 have proper risk management set up and proper money manage money management um, um, set up on our platform um, so that we're able to actually monitor and manage that still. You know, so as long as people perform, they're good. You know, it's no risk to them. They're just being evaluated, that's it, and they get hired. It's just like a job application. Wow. And it's not just about us um, giving you funding, you know. We also give you support. So you made a good point about persons not understanding how trading works. We have a community. So if you follow us on Instagram, if you join our Discord community every day, we're sharing, we're sharing knowledge and information on how to maximize and the opportunities that we provide for you, right? So, if you're starting from zero, you can start with us. If you're at 50 or even 100 and you think you're the best trader in the world, even better for you because you have no opportunity to access more money than you would have had on your own. And this basically comes from my struggles as well and a lot, and understanding the struggles of, for example, a lot of my students and a lot of people out there that will message me on a day-to-day basis. Um, even outside of the trading field, right? And I know a lot of people say that, you know, I'm going to cut you, but, but that's very interesting because I heard you say it yesterday at the at the yeah, event. Right. You know, tell, tell us a little bit about, you know, where you are coming from and what really inspired you yeah. to start Pro Traders Fund. As I said a while ago, I have over a decade of experience within the market. This was the only option for me and I wasn't able to actually get a job or anything like that, right? So while um, pursuing my tertiary education, 
um, I started to learn, you know, to trade while I was trying to just find different side hustles to make a little extra dollar to be able to pay my, my, my school fee, right? And then when I stopped going to school, I said, all right, let me just focus on this fully. You know, I used to go to a cafe every single day, live in the rural part of the island, um, no money in my pocket, nothing to eat, you know, just sit in the cafe, hide myself, um, you know, just, you know, at the corner, turn my back to everybody and just be studying from from 5 a.m. in the morning, or 6 a.m. in the morning, all the way up to 9 p.m. in the night, you know, or or um, sometimes 10 or 11 o'clock, I'm just there, you know, use, utilizing their free Wi-Fi. To study trading. To study how to, 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 to trade and to, to be better and stuff like that. And, and then through those hard times, it taught me money management, it taught me risk management because I never had no money. So I had to be managing from that, <laughs> that point to make sure I'm able to pay my bus fare to go to the, um, the cafe, which was miles away, you know, I couldn't right. walk to it. So you not only know how to manage large sums, mm-hmm. but when you had little and nothing, yeah. you did have to, you know, yeah. know how to stretch it and yeah. so. Yeah. Okay, so so I see in the in the in the studio as well, uh, Mr. David Nunes. Right, I want to ask you because you were on the panel uh, yesterday. We had a panel discussion uh, at the event yesterday. I wanted to ask you what are some of the key insights or the lessons that um, you know you thought were substantial, a good takeaway uh, from yesterday's event. Okay, so yesterday's events. The particular theme that was on show was financial literacy and how do we utilize financial literacy. And I think the importance of what we got out of that seminar yesterday was that, one, the most important tool that you can have and believe in is, in is yourself. That's number one, because without taking a risk on yourself, There's no advancement of your potential. Number two, which uh, competes very well for number one as well, it's just as important in my book, is learning how to manage risk. I mean, this is a trading term. A lot of people who trade would understand this term, but in terms of life on a whole, choose your battles. Pick how you go into things. Pick how you decide how you will get out and how you will get in and, of course, arrive safely at that destination which you require. So, with those two topics, some tools also came out in the seminar which is important for building wealth, which is important for understanding financial literacy. And these tools relate to entrepreneurs as well as you know small business owners as well as traders definitely definitely okay go ahead let let us know the 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 tools so the tools that we spoke about well the broadly in the panel we started off from not only just okay adults speaking about financial literacy but one of the tools is teaching your kids and as early as you they can understand what it means to Okay, the value of something. Before they even understand currency, you teach it kids values. And that's the first thing that comes out of it. So you want to make sure that they have savings accounts. This is a tool. Investments accounts as early as possible. And many adults don't know they can add children as beneficiaries to their accounts. Add them to their investments accounts. And also an important thing to look into while I'm not an agent of life insurance or health insurance, health is wealth. And that was something big that stood out to me. So with that being said, coming up the ages, we know that in school, a lot of us weren't taught financially. We didn't have a class that taught us how to manage our money. So it's the onus is on us as parents. Onus is on us as adults, guider, well, let's say, guardians to implement this on the younger generation. Come on, guys. We see the Chinese do this every day in a damn shop. (laughs) They have the little ones there watching. It's not just for show and tell, guys. It's evident. They're doing well. Right, and And they're teaching them from that very early age, you know, how to manage money, how to count money, you know, things like that. There we go. So all of these tools coming together, teaching people attending pro traders fund seminar that's also a tool so these tools that i mentioned are part of a building block and steps to unlock that potential in your mind to 
Think Wealth. Thank you so much. And, you know, we're going to we're going to have to take a quick break. But right before I want to direct this question uh, to, to you, Mr. Gardner, what is the importance of events like these in fostering global collaboration for traders? So thanks, Danny. That's a great question. So these quest- these events are very important for persons because networking is vital. Networking is a tool that you use to learn and you use to earn because your network is your net worth. Now, persons would have attended the event and left with a lot more than that $100 ticket would have, would have given them, right? They would have gained access to business consultants, marketing consultants, investment advisors, invest, investment bankers, entrepreneurs, and, you know, we, all, we encourage every mem- every attendee to exchange contacts. And that's even why it ran on hours after it was supposed to end because everyone was interacting with each other. Everyone was learning something new and bringing something else to the table, right? So now when we do, this is called community building. And when we foster a community, it enables persons to reach much further than they would have on their own. Because we're all working on common goals and we're all sharing information, we're sharing our mistakes, and so we learn faster. Now, this same event, um, I said earlier that we're inviting the winners of the Punta Cana giveaway to the Dominican Republic, right? But it's not just about all fun and games. It's rewarding our community members for the great work that they put in. So in Punta Cana, we're going to have this same event there. Everything is pretty much set up. Um, tickets sold out and we're going to now network with persons on that side of the world because we're expanding into Latin America so we're going to see explore different cultures we're going to learn new things and that's as I say again sharing experiences and sharing knowledge so that we can reach much further than we would have on our own now, uh, final question to wrap up this segment. I'm going to ask uh, each one of the lovely gentlemen in studio uh, for one piece of advice for anyone who is an aspiring trader, anyone who is an aspiring entrepreneur, them of them local business, you understand, and them want to build out the thing. Give us some advice uh, for people like that. We're going to start with uh, Mr. David Nunez. So one piece of advice I will lead f- for traders and all the listeners out there everyone even if you're not yet a trader or currently experiencing bad times as a trader never be afraid to bet on yourself as the great bob marley said none but ourselves can free our mind remember that only you can change the narrative so i'll leave you guys with that I hear you. I hear you. So essentially, people, if you have a look at one business, you believe in yourself. Yeah, believe in yourself and do the necessary work in order to have this thing become a reality. All right, uh, Mr. Gardner, let me hear what you have to say and, uh, you know, a tip for aspiring traders, aspiring entrepreneurs. So for aspiring traders and aspiring entrepreneurs and your overall, whether you have an Instagram store, or whether you have a small business, what I'd advise you to do is invest in your education and training. Or be a learner constantly, be a perpetual learner. Because there's always something that you don't know that's going to be the difference between where you are and where you want to be. Wonderful, wonderful. And uh, last but not least, in any in any manner of speaking, Mr. Chavez Allen, give us give us a tip for aspiring traders, aspiring entrepreneurs. All right, so f- a tip for entrepreneurs and aspiring traders is everybody has a mirror right now. Um, you know, I think the best thing you can do for yourself um, and for the world is to go look in it and you know tell yourself all of the the faults that you actually see with, within yourself and with, within whatever you're doing, and tell yourself. Not just the faults, but the the ways they can actually fix these. You know, you need to work on every single one of them. Work on yourself. As long as you're constantly working on yourself you, and pushing yourself, you will do great things in life. You know, so um, that is my tip. You know, it it the power is within you, and you have to really learn how to yield it. And um, that is how you're going to get the outcome that you want out of life. Wonderful. All right. So the reoccurring theme that I hear uh, everyone speaking about is, you know. 
introspection. Do some introspection. Look into yourself, right? And look at where you could be doing better. Believe in yourself, right? Now, but I feel like say, oh, my my business idea too small. You know what I mean? Right? Believe in yourself. Uh, we just want to thank uh, the members of the Pro Traders Fund for passing through and speaking to us on Cruising on the Edge. Listen, you know, yesterday's event was amazing. The panelists were Justin Scott, David Nunez, Shadeen Ramsey, uh, Brittany Byfield, and of course Dr. Velma May Brown. Yeah, big regis- resident magistrate. Yeah, like judges were there, you know, um, business consultants, realtors, attorneys. Yeah. It was a huge event. Traders, it was a wonderful event. And I must uh, congratulate and thank these young men, you know, for putting on such an event. Normally we see people just, yeah, you understand? Yeah, we love for cost the young man them, but they're going with themselves, I must say. Thanks again, folks, for coming and talking to us. Winners win. I hear you. Uh. I hear you. I hear you. Guys, build your dreams. Build your dreams. Wonderful. Thank you so very much for talking to us.